Hello, in this short video I'm going to give an example of how we can utilize the APIs in the Signal S1000D suite to integrate third-party applications into your workflow. In this example we'll use our S1000D for Word tool which we've recently integrated with the Signal suite to enable both the author and convert components of the Word add-in to seamlessly create, save and push data into the Signal suite CSDB. First we'll start in our Signal suite interface. As you can see, I've got a project selected, so we'll go straight to the Data Module Manager view. And as you can see, there's very little data here currently. So firstly, let's populate the project with some empty DMs. To do that, we'll use the Excel import function. OK, we now have a list of data modules which require authoring, and we're going to use Word to author this particular data module. So first, we need to assign the data module to ourselves from Signal. Once assigned, S1000D for Word will allow us to work with it from Word. It will automatically check the DM out for us, so we don't need to worry about that. With that done, let's move over to Word. Firstly, we need to establish a connection to Signal, so we'll need to enter a few credentials. Once connected, we're offered a list of projects from our Signal environment that we can choose from. Let's pick the DA42 project, since that's the one we're working on. Now the project is selected, I can bring up my list of data modules. These lists are being presented to us via the API integrations. So any changes you make in Signal, those changes will also be reflected here too. Let's select our propeller install procedure and choose to draft the DM in Word. As you can see, a document template has been created for us with the correct title and data module code. Let's populate the data module. The editing feature in our S1000D for Word tool is a way to very quickly get DMs drafted and enables literally everyone and anyone to contribute to descriptions, procedures or illustrated parts data modules. Once imported, we can use an S1000D editor to tidy up the data module or take advantage of more advanced features of the purpose-built signal editor. Once the DM is drafted in Word, we can click to generate the S1000D XML data module. A schema validation is carried out on the resulting data module, and now let's save that DM content back to Signal. OK, that was successful. Now let's take a look in Signal to see what we've got. As you can see, the content we prepared in Word has been pushed and saved back to Signal. This DM can either be further authored, if required, or pushed into a workflow where it can be validated and ultimately issued. Now let's have a look at the other way in which we can push data to Signal from our Word add-in. The other component of the S1000D for Word add-in is Convert. Convert allows us to take existing Word data, use some purpose-built tools to tag and style the data, and just like the author component we just looked at, allows us to then automatically generate S1000D XML data modules from the existing data. Here is a document which has previously been prepared for conversion. So let's run the conversion tool and have it generate the S1000D XML data modules for us from the Word content. OK, in this case, six data modules have been generated and a bunch of graphic files. We can see these files if we open the tool's output folder. So what now? Well, we want to get these files into Signal. And at any point, we can press the Import to Signal button and have it push our data into Signal forming various checks on the way to ensure our data is valid. And again, we can now go back to Signal and see our new data modules, and again, edit them if required, and continue the workflow from our CSDB environment. So hopefully that gives you a good indication on how the S1000D for Word add-in can be used as part of your wider workflow process, but also how utilising Signal's APIs you can integrate third-party applications into your existing workflow. If you have any questions or would like a demo, feel free to contact any of the team here at Signal. Links below. Thanks for watching.